You are looking live at the state capitol tonight where this morning the longtime partner of state representative Hugh McKean was sworn into office. Well, McKean passed away suddenly in October from a heart attack. Denver 7's Megan Lopez spoke to Amy Parks about her new mission in life. In a vacant House floor one month before lawmakers return, there's a chair that feels a little more empty than most. He had a, a way of making everyone feel like they were the only and best person in the world. A chair left by Republican Minority Leader Hugh McKean, who passed away unexpectedly last month from a heart attack. He was sincere, he was genuine, he cared, truly cared about people. On Monday, McKean's longtime partner, Amy Parks, was sworn in to fill that position. The only reason I did this was because I lost my best friend and he wasn't able to finish out his term, so I came here, sworn in, came to finish his work. During the interim session, there are no votes for her to cast, no committee seats for her to fill. This moment, mostly symbolic. Honestly, it feels like such an honor. Parks will serve just 43 days before a new representative is sworn in to take McKean's place. Even if it's just a short time serving, though, she's on a mission. Maybe we could have prevented his death. I don't know. With her heart broken, Parks is now pushing for others to get preventative care screenings. In the days before his death, McKean did go to the emergency room after feeling back pain, but was sent home. Since then, someone else I know had different kind of back pain and sure enough they went in and they did find a blockage. If she can save just one person, that's enough, but she'd like to reach even more. And while she trusts the health care providers, Park says there's no harm in asking more questions. Advocate for yourself. If you still don't feel like something's right, you know, dig deeper, dig deeper ask for more tests. So when the legislature is back in session, she'd like to see them focus on lowering health care costs so people don't have to worry about the price of a test that could save their life. Her tribute to a man, a lawmaker, and a partner who meant so much to so many. He'd be so proud. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.